Have you ever wondered why so many people、hmm. want to go to the waterfront to、I、own、have. a waterfront property? I have. I'm Ken Decker, and I'm Yetta Decker, and we're excited to be with you、mm-hmm. to welcome you to another episode of the Inside Track, where you get really what what you need, what we deserve, what we all deserve is information in regards to being able to make a great decision for our family、mm. that makes our life the best possible it can be. That's the gig, and so today we're going to look at. Waterfront, like why waterfront? I think it's about the view. I think it's about the ambiance and just the ability to have the cooling effect of the water, especially in this really hot summer in the Ottawa area. So today we're going to learn about the advantages and the disadvantages as it relates to living on the water, and maybe what it'll take to get the waterfront of your dreams. Yeah. So there are those cooling effects. There is the piece that you're talking about,、mm-hmm. which is very interesting, because we actually own a property on the water. We do, and at the front, what's fascinating is it's on Main Street, Manitic,、mm-hmm. and so when you first get there, people think, "Why do you talk about the Manitic Cottage, which is the Decker Team hangout? Why do you talk about it like a cottage?" Until they open the front door. And then walk about five paces in, and all they can see is the S Bend on the back channel of the Rideau River, and they don't know that's what they're looking at. They just know they're looking at serene, tranquil, amazing water,、mm-hmm. and it's so relaxing. I like to go sit out there under the trees and feel the cool breeze, even on a hot day.、Mm. You know, one of the reasons I think so many people want to get to the waterfront. Is that there's a scarcity of it?、Mm. There's only so much waterfront compared to all the inland. And now I used to say God isn't making any more waterfront, but, <laughs> but with the melting glaciers and whatever, it seems like there's maybe it's just different waterfront now because the waterfront properties might be underwater at some point. And we're also <laughs> seeing man-made lakes. We are right.、That's、We're seeing、true. more and more, especially out in the south part of the city of Ottawa, like Greeley and that area, and an abundance of man-made lakes. So they're actually making waterfront, <laughs> and yet it is still much、yeah. scarcer. So God isn't making more waterfront. Man is making more waterfront, but、exactly. God created man. So does that make it God? I think it does. I think it does too. So、yeah. waterfront is there is a scarcity element. I don't know that that would make me want it though. No, do you like diamonds? You, they're not actually that scarce. Apparently, I know, but why do they make them scarce? Because it's supposed to increase the whole supply and demand gig. Yes.、Mm-hmm. So yeah, some people want waterfront because not everybody can have it. Okay, <laughs> that just doesn't sound like a good reason to me. No, and yet there it is scarce. So if you want it, the downside to maybe waterfront is you're going to pay a premium. Yes, and there is a significant cost associated to having waterfront.、Mm-hmm. So then there are some types of waterfront that maybe aren't quite as expensive. Yeah, the ones that flood. <laughs> the ones that flood. That's you know this is an interesting year to be talking about waterfront property after the very difficult times. Yes, we actually have a waterfront property for sale right now, which is an amazing opportunity, a- and it didn't flood. No. At the、oh. highest water mark, it was five feet elevation. The water from the water to the walkout basement was、yeah. five feet, not five feet in distance, but five feet elevation. So, not much chance that one's going to flood. No, so that's a great opportunity, great and it's gorgeous.、Mm-hmm. Just relaxing, and it's that lakefront, lake house feel. So year-round living, so you get your cottage and your house in one, and I think that's one of the reasons waterfront and wanting the advantage of that cooling effect, whether they're scarce or not, is that you can live in one place, not have to maintain two,、mm-hmm. and still have a cottage and a house in one. That's true. 
Now, there are studies around the peace, mm. the tranquility of seeing water. Now, sometimes water can be a little rough. It can be fast moving. It can mm. be still. But there is something about still waters, the reflection of the trees on the water when it's calm. Mm. And the clouds and the sky, that mirrored thing. Have you ever? I did a puzzle once that had the the lake effect, and so it had almost identical trees and houses on the water and above. Made it very tricky to do that puzzle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and is it tricky when we're in Algonquin Park talking about waterfront and the reflection of water, knowing which piece to put your canoe in when you, the water looks identical to the sky? No, I always know where the water is. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. So the other advantage is there's no rear neighbors. Right. Now, they may be across the river, across the lake. Uh, you might get an extra bit of traffic. So understanding the amount of boating traffic in, f in front of the property. We say in front because when you have waterfront, the frontage on the road is Becomes usually the considered back. the back of the property. And a lot of times the houses are more beautiful on the front. On the waterfront side. Exactly. Which is opposite of a regular streetscape inland house. Mm -hmm. So like our waterfront property in Mantic, it's very noisy on the front side. But when you go into you the You just back, called the waterfront. I know. <laughs> Uh, it's thanks, a little yeah. bit confusing. It is no, confusing. I mean, it really is confusing. So when we go to the backyard, which is from looking at from the street, we're now on the water side. It's very quiet, very tranquil. It's it, it's surprising because there's a right. little shopping mall right beside us. There's a lot of traffic, and yet it's calm. It's calming. Yep, it is. And the other type of waterfront that is still very desirable to a lot of people is being on a creek or a smaller subsidiary of water even something that dries out a little bit in the worst of the summer heat mm -hmm. can still be very tranquil because they still often will have some fish there'll be frogs there'll be wildlife so not only do we get the tranquility of the water and the cooling effects of the water we also get wildlife mm -hmm. and the enjoyment of nature yeah and, and so that's more calming birds. Yeah. There's also more birds. And now understanding what type of waterfront a client's looking for is very mm. important. Like, do they want to park a cruiser at a dock? Do they want to just have a runabout? Are they okay that they can just drop a canoe or a kayak in? Or that you can't do anything with the water? It's just, just basically it. a ditch. <laughs> That's <laughs> what we have in our backyard. Yeah, we in our personal residence, we back onto Mud Creek. But really, it's a drainage ditch that runs into the Rideau River and yet it, it swells in the spring just like a normal river it's it's probably more than a ditch it is honey yeah so that's an amazing opportunity so if we wanted to think about waterfront what are those very things the biggest impact from a cooling perspective that it does well it just moderates Mm. Water moderates the temperature because it's always cooler than the air, unless in the winter time it's warmer than the air. So, if you're on a big body of water like the Great Lakes, it will actually mod moderate the temperature on land. Mm -hmm. Now, a small river is not going to do that, but it does have that slight moderating effect. Plus, you get more breeze because there's nothing stopping the breeze. So, the breeze comes across the cool water mm -hmm. and really makes it very comfortable. That's awesome. Yeah, so we're grateful to be your partners yeah. in building wealth in real estate. And what do we need to say about water? Time wasted, right? Time wasted on the water is actually time well spent. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team.